Welcome to PMT and IIT Physics Tips with Vipin Sir. In today's class, I am giving you a tip on unit and dimensions. As all of us know that terms that contain and involve physics are called physical quantities. You know quite a lot of them. If you've just entered class 11, you've started writing their dimensions and units. Let me give you some examples. The physical quantities are mass, length, time, and then distance, displacement, speed, velocity, acceleration, force, pressure, energy, etc. Now let me give you a tip that you can take care of from this stage only for the forthcoming comparative exams of 2016. Now whenever you attempt a physical quantity and write its dimension or units or operate the physical quantity in dimensional analysis or say you do the conversion of unit always try and divide a physical quantity under these four heads or under these four names. Let me put down these names for you. The first is dimensional constants. Second is dimension less constants third is dimensional variables and fourth is dimension less variables so whichever physical quantity you are dealing with Try and divide them under a suitable head or under a suitable name. Let me give you some examples on these. Dimensional constants. It is evident from name that the constant should have dimensions. Examples are gravitational constant G and Planck constant H. Now, what are dimensionless constants? These should be constants but shouldn't give their dimensions. So, the examples are Reynolds number Ry and Avogadro number N. These are constants and have no dimensions. The next one is dimensional variables. 95% of physical quantities fall under this category. Whether it is distance or displacement, speed, velocity, momentum, force, energy, pressure, pressure gradient, any physical quantity that you deal with, most of them actually fall under this category of dimensional variables. Let me put down few important ones for you. Coefficient of viscosity, thermal conductivity, pressure gradient, etc. And last ones are dimensionless variables terms which can change their values and have no dimensions because they are mere ratios. Examples are strain and angle or angular displacement. So whichever physical quantity you attempt, try and divide it under this category. Now, how it is going to help you? 95% of them fall in this category. Comparative exams, they always expect something more out of you. So for you, the first attempt when you are preparing for the comparative exam are these two and this. Only 5% of physical quantities are covered under these heads. 
but they appear too often in competitive exams and they're more important for you you can join my lectures at www.superprofs.com thanks for watching